Okay, okay, we are back with some more Olivia Rodrigo. Next up is Stranger, produced by Dan. Classic. Should be a banger. But it might be a sad banger, dude. Stranger? Stranger? Is it gonna be like, I knew you, and now you're a stranger? Because the last song I just checked out was kind of like that. Let's go. That reminds me of Riptide. I, woke up this morning I love Riptide. Sat up straight in bed. I had the strangest feeling of this weight off of my chest. I hadn't felt that hopeful since the day that you left, and it felt nice. So, day nice. and everybody told me it would happen in time. The fire would burn out, and all the storm clouds would subside. And I always believed that it was some comforting lie, but it feels nice, so nice. Cause I was half myself without you, and now I feel so complete. And I wow. can't even remember what made me lose all that sleep. Wow. I a million rivers for you, but that's over now. You're just a stranger, I know everything about okay i like the twist i like the twist it's more of like a positive outlook on it rather than like somebody that i used to know you know what i mean like it's it's more of like you know i'm better now you know um and things have lifted off my shoulders all the weight that's really nice dude and that's the thing i hate that like anything you go through dude you can heal through time i hate that because it's it doesn't feel true in the slightest when you're going through it. But once you get through it, then you realize like, yeah, man, like you need time. And sometimes that time's a week. Sometimes that time's a few months. Sometimes that time is like three years. It's really different for everyone and depending on the situation. But eventually, dude, you will be fine. And that pain will like subside. The storm cloud subsided. You know what I mean? Um this was nice i was half myself without you now i feel so complete this is the one thing i'm like i don't know about this though you're just a stranger i know everything about um you know everything about that person from the past like i could say that about people but i don't know them anymore you know what i mean like people change and grow they experience other things and it's not just you but other people as well the people that you've known so well it's like if you reconnect with someone after like 10 years of not seeing them they're a completely different person with uh, so many different experiences. I mean, they're still them at their core, but everyone grows and learns and, you know, you really don't know them anymore. So that's cool, but it's not entirely true. Unless it's like something like recent, like a month ago, you know, they're still going to be them pretty much. Made a pot of coffee and I poured myself a cup. Nice. Thought of all the things I did. Try and win your love, how did that happen? I can't imagine ever doing all that stuff for just some guy. Like you're just some guy. Oh, but I hope that you're happy, babe. No, I really do. And God knows that I am the girl I am because of you. You know I'll always think of you. I love you till the end of time. You are the best thing that I'll Damn man. Ooh. Some vocal layers. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This part sounding very country. This part sounding very country. Whoa. I'm here for it. I am here for it, dude. Um, this is so nice though. I'm loving this. God knows that I'm the girl I am because of you. Um, I hope that you're happy. You know I really do. You know, I'll I'll always think of you. I'll love you to the end of time. I'll love you till the end of time. Anyways, you're the best thing that I'll ever keep so far out of my life. That's interesting, because it's like... I guess it wasn't like that bad of a relationship. It was just things weren't great. So I can see that, where it's like, they're not great. But it's it was alright, because you still have love for them till the end. Because like if it was something absolutely horrible... I don't know if you'd hold on to that love and even wish them happiness. I don't know. I don't know. But, dude, I'm loving the new chorus. Like when the chorus comes back, the extra vocal layers, and it's just feeling so country now. Damn. 
Taylor vibes. Nothing left for me to know why I just stay you had to go. That was wait wait, that was really cool. The guitar with the the stutters. There's nothing left for me to know why I just nice. I love the stutters. This is really nice. Wow, dude. Yeah, that definitely had like maybe folk vibes. I feel like folk vibes for like the choruses me or the verses maybe, but the choruses felt very like like reminded me of like country Taylor, you know what I mean? And I was kind of nostalgic a little bit there. It was really nice. <clears throat> She beautifully captures the journey of personal growth and moving on from a past relationship. I like that. Um, da 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 da. A glitch in the video revealed four additional tracks. Uh huh. The ultimate. The song's ultimate message is one of personal strength and the ability to move forward. Viewing her ex partner as a stranger with whom she no longer shares a deep emotional connection. Based. Based. Self love, the growth, the security of her being herself and moving on. Real. Wait, five months ago. This wasn't even out yet five months ago. Olivia does not know how to make a bad song. True. Fully thought I pressed on a Noah Kahan song for the first few chords. When I first, first heard the first few chords, I thought of Riptide. I like Riptide. Some people don't like Riptide. Why? Why? Was it like an overplayed song? I don't know, because it wasn't overplayed for me. I, I barely knew it, but I love Riptide, dude. Stop. <laughs> this is perfection. This is making my coochie feel strange. Why would this song make your coochie feel strange? Uh, Olivia. This is a country hit. Yes, it is. It is. It's giving You Should Be Sad, Halsey. Happier version. I feel like I've heard that song before. I'm in tears. I love this. Love it. Feels like the spiritual successor to Stick Season. I don't know stick season everyone cheered for real it makes me th bro i'm not reading that fucking comment dude what is he what are they talking about that's the same person from earlier up top right <laughs> they came back and commented like there's four months ago and then nine days ago <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> they're just trolling they're just trolling dude um that was really nice though i enjoyed that a lot um when i think about like taylor swift's music dude like she got good songs throughout all her eras, but the one that hits the hardest for me and like hits me would be the more country era, like Fearless and Speak Now and like Taylor Swift. Like those things were, <clears throat> that gets me. That's the good stuff for me. Uh, it's all of this good stuff, but that's the hard, hard hitting stuff. And I got that feeling from this track, but it's not so, it's not really sad. It's not really sad. It's like I said, it's more of a positive, optimistic look on a breakup and losing someone. Um, which is refreshing. <clears throat> it's very refreshing. And I like that that's the concept. Um, but I don't think I could cry to this. <clears throat> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. You know what? Maybe I could. <laughs> I'll take that back. But I don't know. I do love it for that country sounding. Her vocals are really nice. Um, Dan was doing great on that production stuff. Anyways, I don't know, man. Keep Elite Man, keep. What will I rate this track? I like it a lot. I'm going to go 8. Eight. And I, I don't know if I'll put it in my sad playlist because it's not sad. But the country kind of makes it feel sad. I don't know. But still, really nice. 8-8 eight, eight for me, man. It's a really good song. <laughs> 